So here everyone, um, I'm just going to show you a quick uh, demonstration on how to get your MIDI files into the Abbey Road drum drummer programs. Um, I don't have the Native Instruments Studio drummer, but I'm sure it probably works similar. Um, so I have the Abbey Road 60s drummer, 70s drummer, and the modern drums. Um, as you can see here, I've added the 70s Abbey Road kit and the Abbey Road Modern MIDI files to the Abbey Road 60s drummer um, MIDI library. Uh, and it's just, you know, different, whatever. So basically, you have to find your folders that uh, for the Abbey Road 60s drummer, the 70s drummer, 80s drummer, modern drummer whatever ones you have the new vintage ones and so forth um so i already found these libraries these are the folders for the 60s drummer and when you want to open up the midi file folder and there's gonna be an early kit and late kit um and each of these mini mini files are the, i found to be the same for each kit by default that come with the kits um, so there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, the first is just to copy these folders, make a duplicate of the folder like so, and then drag that duplicate into your MIDI files for the seventies kit, which would be open kit and tight kit, the Abbey Road seventies drummer and the same thing for the modern drummer or whatever ones you have. Um, the second way, like, like say you have uh, Easy Drummer or MIDI files or whatever, um, it's just to make an uh, alias of the folder. Um, this is just the folder I made, more MIDI with one MIDI file in there, just, just to demonstrate this. Um, you just make an alias of that. And then you just drag that alias into your early kit. Actually, you should copy that first. Copy the alias. Or, forget that, let's make another alias. Make alias, drag that into your 60s late kit MIDI folder. And you can just continue doing that to the 70s kit, whatever kit you have. Um, and then when you come back to your uh, player here, you're going to have to reload the kit in order for them to show up. So I'm just going to do that real quick. This is the 60s early kit. And then grooves, and there's more MIDI. Now these, like I said, these are just aliases. So which these these could be anywhere on your whatever. Like I said, your Easy Drummer MIDI or whatever. Um, and there's the groove. Now of course you can't put folders in there and so forth to have a more structured look like this where it's a. Uh, you know, different types of music and different styles. For example, the 70s kit, you know, I just copied the folder, so I got the funk, the hard rock, the disco. Uh, and just gonna keep going on and on. And also, of course, so many files are in different uh, key mappings. So they have a mini map here. Right now they have general MIDI, easy drummer, superior drummer, BFD, addictive drums, and some other ones, and even the V drums for mapping. So a few different MIDI files that aren't kind of working right. I would try that. All right. So I hope that helps. Thanks a lot.